Alex Rodriguez is back in the news, and so now is Major League Baseball. After years of public denials, we're now learning he came clean to the feds earlier this year about taking performance-enhancing drugs. Now he'll be the talk of the clubhouse once again, and still not in a good way. We get our report tonight from NBC's Ron Mott. Did you do any PEDs? No. Alex Rodriguez has always denied using performance-enhancing drugs since joining the Yankees in 2004. But behind closed doors with immunity, NBC News has learned he told federal officials a very different story. At a meeting last January with DEA agents and prosecutors investigating a now defunct South Florida clinic, sources say Rodriguez admitted buying banned drugs, about $12,000 worth a month, injecting human growth hormone, HGH, into his stomach, and claimed to use his cousin to help keep it all secret, paying him $900,000 for his silence. This is essentially rock bottom for Alex Rodriguez. This was someone who was a three-time league MVP, a World Series champion, and now he on the same level as Lance Armstrong. 18 days before his alleged confession, an arbitrator ruled Rodriguez would have to sit out the entire 2014 season for his role in the scandal. Baseball's highest paid star responded then with another denial, saying, I did not use performance enhancing substances, and in order to prove it, I will take this fight to federal court. But he dropped that fight just weeks later. A-Rod's suspension was lifted when the World Series ended last week. He's officially back on the Yankees roster. No comment today from the team or Rodriguez, but fans had plenty to say. I guess I'm disappointed by the news. I'm sure he figured everyone else was doing it, he can get away with it. A little surprised that he could deny it that long. Rodriguez still has three years on his contract. He's owed $61 million, but there are new questions tonight about whether A-Rod owes the public the truth. Ron Mott, NBC News.